This kind of feels awkward. I don't know. I feel awkward. I feel awkward. You made it awkward. What the fuck? <laughs> I feel awkward. I d- you I made d- it awkward. Is, is this the Beardy Brothers podcast? Is this the right spot? Am I in the right place? You got, the, like, you got the fucking football playing in the background. <laughs> I can say it. I can just acknowledge now that it's actually playing. I just didn't really acknowledge. Yeah. Well, uh, didn't you realize it before? No, I just I just thought the TV was on. I just didn't really acknowledge what was actually happening on it. We've got the football playing in the background. <laughs> oh god! With well, that extra long, uh, dragged out intro of awkwardness, because I don't know why I'm feeling awkward as fuck right now, but. What's up, beauties and beardettes, and welcome back to another fine episode of the fucking Beauty Bros Podcast. With the jazz hands. Yeah. You're going to go... I oh, know, that's a weird <laughs> intro. Something different for a change. We've gone with it. This is what it is. How's People everyone? People listen to me like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but when's it? what's happening? So, uh, uh, <laughs> what's up, Jim? How are you? How are you, man? Anyway. Oh, doing bloody awesome, man! How about you? How about yourself? It's not bad, not bad. It, uh, I mean, I could start off. I'll start off the episode with um, a weird dream I had last night. It kind of woke me up this morning uh, at like two a.m. to get back to sleep. So two a.m. Yeah, it was like two three a.m. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And I was like, "What? Why it's so early?" I'm like, "Why am I awake right now? What the fuck?" Basically, so I know it was weird. I do remember the dream. So I don't know what was going on exactly, but. I was with these people, and it was like kind of like a pool party kind of thing, and everyone's being like, oh, uh-huh. you know, you know, the typical guys were like, yeah, we we tell you, and then like everyone's being like the typical kind of dickheads jockey, and like, and it's like, oh, you want to go? It'd be not tough, and it's like, go on, fight me, fight me then, and I was like, and then I don't know for some reason, next time I had these, we-, we had weapons, they were wooden weapons, so you know how like the old training of <laughs> wooden weapons to fight with. Like they're fucking big long sticks. He just whacking. Yeah, them. it was like that. It was like wooden training weapons, but it was like stuff that I'd crafted, so I knew how to handle Wait, them. What? Yeah, it was some weird thing in my dream. Like I must have crafted because I'm like, I know these things. These are mine. I've crafted these, even though I've never crafted like wood swords in my life. It was just like this weird thing, and I was like, go oh, and then fight me, and then I was like, it all went from being like. I don't know what. I don't know how we got to that scenario of it happening, but I we had these things. We're all fighting each other. We're like, yeah, like. Battle to survival kind of thing. It's like a you know, last man standing kind of thing. But I went all I went all John Wick because because mm-hmm. these were tools that I'd made myself. I knew where the weak spots were and how they would be handled and stuff. And the whole fight sequence was just like whacking and different like all John Wick moves, where it's like like whack their blades, spin out of their hands, grab it, whack them with it, then fucking flip it, and then the, and then do like the old Jackie Chan fighting where you like do different. You know how Jackie Chan does weird like choreography fights where it's like you take their weapon, you whack it with it, then you give their weapon back, and then you like flick it around. You know, oh, yeah, you know, stuff like that. It was like doing these weird things. Where it was like we swapped. We swap swords, it's like, and I smack them themselves in the head, make them butt whack themselves, and all this weird shit was happening. I was beating them up, I was like, yeah, and I like, everyone, like, I don't know, I whooped their asses, and they're on the ground, bloodied, and like, yeah, it was the most weirdest fucking dream. Basically, it led to that, and then I go back to the group of people, and they're like, looking at me, like, oh, why did you do that for? And I'm like, I don't know, and the next time I got fucking clocked in the side of the head, and I woke up. <laughs> and what, 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 where this is leading to is like, when I woke up, the ringing, ringing in my ears was just going off out of nowhere. Like, it was just ringing. I, I could wake up, so it's like... Maybe the, I was just like... <laughs> oh, I don't know what was going on, but it's like my ten, tinnitus... <laughs> my tinnitus has basically been playing up all day. But basically, I feel like the dream triggered my tinnitus because, like, <laughs> like I'd been smacked in the head, like, got concussed, and, like, I woke back up in reality, and it's just been ringing ever since. And, like, because I was like, what the fuck? What's going on here? Like, cause it was just like, like, it was just weird that I had this weird dream of being, like, all badass, like, fight scene out of nowhere to then get clocked <laughs> in the head to be, like, knocked out, like, and, and then, then have just bugs flying, like, birds flying away, and then waking up, and, like, and then still hearing the ringing. And I'm like, what the fuck? Where'd this happen? Came it was probably nowhere. real. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I'm waking up. You probably did get whacked in the head. Like, that's just. Someone went off in my dreams into a parallel dimension. Yeah. It, was, it was actually happening. Parallel. Sometimes things are like, does that actually happen? So. Parallel. It was parallel Daz, super gangster badass, knows how to fight martial I've, arts. I've heard people say that they've dreamt of going to the toilet and they just wet themselves. Like. Yeah. 
Like, uh, it could be something like that. It was exactly <laughs> it. Like, it was, so cause, like I said, as soon as I got smacked in the head, it was just like, smack. Because it, like, it was like, smack, blacked out. And I actually woke up and I'm in my bed. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, because it, it felt so real. I'm like, what? And I'm like, I'm in bed though. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, and there's just the ringing. It was really loud when it happened. <laughs> it was like very fresh. And it was like, what the fuck? And it wouldn't go away. And I went back to sleep. And it's been like on all day, but it kind of eased up. It's not been as bad, but I'm like, God damn it, now I've got to deal with the ringing in my head. I'm like, fuck, I'm being concussed and I won't go away. <laughs> You've been concussed and then you fucking dream. Yeah. You've been hit so hard made your ancestors dizzy. Yeah, like, that's what it feels like, because that's what it feels like, the ringing is like the whole dizziness when you get smacked in the cartoons. It's like, do 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 the birds and everything spinning around the head, like tweeting and everything. You got fucking tweeting going around. Oh, it's just like, it was fucking hilarious though, because I was like <laughs> mad, but like, because I like woke up and I was like, oh, it's only 2 a.m., what the fuck is this shit? Oh, so that was how my, my morning started. It was freaking hilarious. How can you, got, we, we got some weird connection going on. Like, you keep freezing on my end. Am I freezing on your you, end? You're freezing on my end. <laughs> my internet has been very shocking lately, and I keep tweeting at them. They keep yeah, going, I, I keep saying your picture you <sighs> when you sent me. <laughs> I keep tweeting well, them. Tweet then like, I even tweeted the other day going, don't even at me going, send us your details, because you, your fucking shit's fucked. Like, and they're like, well, can you send us out your details, and we can try and look it into you? It's like, no, I just sent in my post. Like, don't even at me asking for my details. Because it's you're automatic fucked. Messages like they just automatic posts. Oh, well, they're from like different. They have different like names at the bottom of them from different like employees. Yeah, it's probably still a bot though. Hmm. This is like God damn it. Because I they, bet they'd be worded the exact same, just with a different name oh, at the bottom. Close, close to yeah. But it's just Which like, means an automated message just from just like, someone just went beep when you at them. Because yeah, I added Telstra and I got the same thing. At them, you just go at Telstra. Where's my lollipops? Like, oh, you see, you're having pro- you here, you're having problems with your connections. <laughs> We're here, you're having problems with your connections. Send us your account details, and and we'll get back to you. It's like, you know, like- you know, send them a pick of Kratos doing the big rage. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, I wonder how like far you could go with the automated message where it looks like you're asking a request, but it's not actually anything, and they send you that automated message saying, "Send us your account." Is like, I don't know how off topic. Um, but but then you send them their thing you sent back. Yeah. And then they send you their details by accident. <laughs> just just the bot, just see if you get the uh, the um the bot to respond back. Yeah. For technical support. I actually didn't answer him when I said my um tweet and then I got a message like a few days later saying, Have you resolved the issue? I'm like, No, I fucking haven't <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's funny you haven't they, got back to me about it, it so it's of funny. course I haven't. When I when because that's the same thing. Like when I posted the post, they they DM'd me first with the message, and then they tweeted at me with the exact same message. Like after they DM'd me, it's like yeah. okay, it's like um. Well, he actually runs this fucking Twitter page. <laughs> it's going to be help twenty four seven, but I had to wait a whole day. <laughs> Right, it's so bad, and like I said, it's been playing up so consistently for like weeks on weeks, days on days. It's just like, what's wrong? That's with mean, Mine's just gone. Like I don't well, know what it is lately. Now. Like I don't know it's because they're trying to I don't know it's because they're implementing the five G shit still, or if it's like I should affect the four G though. Like I know, it's already like, out there. I don't know what the deal is. Why NBN all that other shit's fucking up? Because only four G still going to be around with five G. So oh yeah, exactly. I just don't know why they have. I mean, they'll issues. eventually phase that out, like three G and. Most likely. When well, I say Fiji. That's weird. Fiji. Like Fiji. Like, like 3G. 3G. <laughs> Fiji. What, what connection Fiji. do you run on Fiji? <laughs> no, I'm, on, I'm on Fiji. What? I'm on Fiji. Um, <laughs> I've got a bit of news. I've got a bit of news to go through. Um, I'm in Fiji. OMG. I mean, the biggest thing for this episode will be the Nintendo stuff for sure. Um, I mean, just, that, that thing. yeah, it was pretty, pretty average, but well, we can leave that to last as always. So if people don't, yeah, that's what I got written down last. I just put Nintendo exclamation mark. <laughs> so yeah, so I've got a few, um, few notes of stuff. Um, one when I jumped on before just to get um a few last minute notes and catch up on what had been announced from Nintendo. Um, Google has updated their Google image. I don't know if you've noticed when you jumped onto Google. Um, mm, maybe it's a sketch. Know. It's a sketch. You can have a look now if you're gonna jump on Google. Oh, I think I have seen it. That that sketch, cool thing. It's a sketch image of Christopher Reeve. Yeah, that. What's his sixty ninth birthday? Yeah, today would would have stated his sixty ninth birthday if he was still alive. 
Did they do it for his other birthdays or just the 69? I don't know. I think they might have. I I've never kept track, but... I know it's weird out of all things, like, specifically 69th. Like, 69! <laughs> I've never seen that on there until right now. Yeah, because it's just ticked over, I think, the 25th. So, yeah, so... Yeah, but why 69th birthday? I know, I don't know out of all dates why the 69th, why not 70th or something like that. But 69... Hey! That but, reminds um, me, like... <sighs> I'm not going into it, but, I'm um... Into it. No, because I was doing my sauce stream this morning, mm -hmm. and the stream got R-rated pretty damn quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was like... Okay. That's There's kids crazy. in this stream, but... <laughs> God. I mean, it's their, it's, their, it's their fault. The game's 18 plus, so... Yeah. So technically, like... they shouldn't really be there, but they are. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like, bam, just triggered. Just like that, it was bam, ah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, do, do, mind us, do mind us, if, you, if you're listening uh, to this episode, we're only in like 11 minutes in, 12 minutes in. So if you're listening to this episode, you're, you're going to have no problems. I'm noticing a fair bit with the video, it's lagging and freezing. So unfortunately, if you're listening, you're doing well, you're going to be better off. But if you're watching, uh, definitely uh, just you... just deal with, uh, just bear with us and uh, with the technical issues that seem to be hiccuping at the moment. So just a lot of remission that in there. Whatever happens, happens. Exactly. It is what it is. Hey, it's live unedited, so it is what it is. Uh, another thing that happened in uh, the last couple of days, I don't know if you saw it, was um, Tom Felton. Do you know what happened with him? Nope. So Tom Felton, um, he was doing a uh, uh, kind of like a, it was a training run before the actual tournament event. They were gonna, trying to get familiar with the uh, golf course. Um, so the, oh, they got a, like a, course. yeah, they got a charity kind of a, there must be like a charity event going on or something, but they're doing a test run before they actually came to the tournament. They, they were doing like checking out the golf course, like playing the rounds and he got to the 18th hole and he collapsed. Jesus. Yeah. So he's, he knows no one's the hydration or something possibly because it was a big day. Possibly he collapsed at the, cause it was the 18th hole. It was the far, like the last hole. Um, playing a big day of golf, so I don't know. It was his six um, or so hours of being out in the sun. So, mm. so it could because they, no one said anything, any issues of what's going on, and it doesn't mm. sound like he's had any issues or not before. Hard to say what's going on, but no one's really followed up what's happened. But yeah, he just collapsed and he seemed just, fine. And they just took him to hospital, and yeah, he was he was awake. Dehydration. He was awake. He's probably taken. tripped. Well, it's like well, he he was with people, and they all and he collapsed. So I say yeah, dehydration is a big thing. People don't realize how dehydrating playing golf can actually be. So, well, any fucking sport, really. Like, you've got to keep your liquids up. Mm. Well, that's the thing. People forget. Think, people just think, oh, it's golf. It's just hitting a ball. Like, not, you know, you... You're and yeah, it's got one of the most high fucking injury rates. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hips and backs and... Yep. But yet, the elderly play it. I don't know. And they get them, injured. Keeps them limber, I guess. I wonder if my tea's cooled down. I think it's pretty hot still. Yeah, mine was pretty fucking hot. <laughs> You let your tea bag hang, like your bags. I, I wrap mine around the handle. <laughs> like my, like my teacup. <laughs> oh, froze when you were doing. He was like, it froze. <laughs> so I got my, yeah, <laughs> I got my. It. We got our beverages, <laughs> so we've 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 eased up. I think we're easing up a little bit from the beers these days. I think we're gonna have teas. I think I, I think I, sh I think the podcast has been chewed. Like. You know how, like, most people on podcasts, are, like, they, they get pissed and they drink beers and they get plotted. Here's us well, with our we, podcast. We used to do that. <laughs> now it's like with our podcast, we've got our teas. We, we, we're having a few teas, pinkies up, getting smashed uh, on the teas. This cup's awkward to do that because you I get know, because a mug. Yeah. It's like, I could do that, I guess. I do say this is quite elegant. We're getting completely smashed on the teas. <laughs> Smashed on the teas. I mean, I mean, you can say it's matured a little bit. I mean, there will be times where we'll have a few beers every now and then. It's not just exclusively beers. Main, mainly in the summertime, because mm. we definitely need the beer then. Yeah, so I'm getting back in the teas, because it's nice nice at the end of the day sometimes. It's been have a, a nice it's green a tea. Been a big week. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So mine's the caramel, honey, and vanilla. Nice herbal. Honey and vanilla will clean out your sinuses. Yes, nice herbal cleansing tea. 
terrible so, cleansing. Oh, I will be able to smell. Did, did you see the um, the big craze about the coffee enemas and shit, like the tea enemas? Oh, and... they are they picking up again? Have they? I haven't looked. No, but... no, no. But I've just remembered watching oh, yeah. Cinnamon Toast Ken. Yeah, yeah. Doing the reaction, so it's like this get, is nasty. You get the buzz because you get cleansed out by, it, but then you get buzzed at the same time. You're like, oh. Who that person was? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because yeah, apparently uh, you should take. I'm not saying what it is, but okay, if I drugs up the up the bum, it hits you harder. So anything up the bum hits you harder. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, uh, uh, in the hole. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not condoning that, of course. <laughs> Basically, do a coffee anima. I mean, I don't see why not. It's if it wants to be a thing again. Um. <laughs> Uh, another, uh, you, I, I, I don't think it stopped. It just become more. I don't. Yeah, it's it's kind of one of those things. Trends come and go. They cycle around. Um, uh, this is an interesting one. I, I'm imagining you've got this down on your notes. You, you've got to have had this one. It's the Ubisoft thing. You bound Ubisoft. to have it. You not? Oh, you don't have it. Ubisoft. Far Cry? Other things. Is that like in a week and a bit? Oh, you didn't get that note. Okay then. So Ubisoft has come out and confirmed that there's going to be no ray tracing um, for Far Cry 6. Yeah, because Ubisoft don't really... They haven't really got the cutting-edge graphics mm. in any game. Well, <laughs> not exactly they won't. So they, they said... There won't I think be it's got cross-gen mm. as well. Well, like... they said there won't be ray, ray tracing on the PS5 or Xbox Series X or Series S, but it'd be limited to PC. I'm guessing it's running off the back and pack kind of... Mm. Which is ditch the last there. gen. Yep, exactly. Ditch it. I mean, Far Cry Six. It makes sense because it's, it's only still, in the, I, I, in I the imagine, year. So I imagine the next Far Cry will seven be, be better. Like, will be next gen. I feel definitely like the next. I think they're still trying to branch out to the market. But yeah, I was, I I was did it this year, but because it, look, it looks fairly decent though. Like the quality of how they built. That I didn't game even was... realize there wasn't ray tracing because I've been watching Xbox gameplay and it looks good. Yeah, so yeah, so they, that's why I guess it was a question that might have been brought it's up. It's in the that. jungle and shit, so you don't really notice, because you need windows for ray tracing and stuff. Well, it's also ray tracing is a lot of the lighting as well, like the luminescence. Yeah, but like, you can also have like the good this. lighting with just... Puddle, puddles and rain and stuff like that, reflective surfaces. and. True, but I still didn't see a problem with it. Like, cause they were fighting on the water in that and that was fine. So it's interesting, so that's what they've come out and said, so I was like, oh, okay. I mean, they're in there deliberately, at least they've already said it. So no one's like, oh, there's ray tracing. They've just said it. They've, they've covered <laughs> themselves exactly it, so they've got it out the way. You don't need to cover yourself for that, though. Like, you know, the A lot of games, like I've, a few PS5 games I've played haven't got ray tracing. Mm. I know one of the best ones I've seen is Watch Dogs Legion. Oh, mm-hmm. that's a good ray tracing in it. <laughs> that and Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man's definitely showed that off really well. They got music Ubisoft, coming. though. What band's that? They got the band playing. Yeah. They're half-time. Half-time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's been a, it has actually been very, like, a quiet week, and I don't know if there's going to be... Yeah. I, I, I think we might actually have a short episode possibly this week. I don't know yet. I'm thinking probably about an hour. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not jinxing it. I mean, we've I've gone through those topics already in the, in 20 minutes with the intro and everything happening. I've already gone through that. So yeah, I've got, you... so, I've, got, I've got a few things, so a couple of things. So. What what things have you got that may or I may not get us big. distracted? Besides Nintendo, so anything that's related to Nintendo, we're going to link oh, to yeah. last. So that's like the movie and okay. stuff. Okay, I'll just go from small to big. Mm-hmm. Like this one's uh, you 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 know the game Kenner and the Bridge of Spirits. Mm-hmm. Kenner is in Fall Guys. Like, the outfit is in Fall Guys. Her. She's in Fall Guys. Interesting. And and I think it's now or it's coming soon. So yeah. I didn't quite get a date on it. That's that new game and, that's just coming out, so. Yeah. Doing really good. And though. Abby and Ellie from Last of Us 2, they're in um, Sackboy, the costumes. Oh, yeah. I'm like, that comes out tomorrow for us, 26. Yep. And they're free of... Of course. Freeze free skins. Yeah, well, I think Kratos is in there. You can play as Kratos as a little sack boy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know, I got Ellie and Abby. I'm like, yes. I think I've got it installed. I'm not sure. Yeah. Just to they... pick them up. Mm. That game's fun. I was playing a bit of it. It's fucking hard. Like, I, I rage quit that game. 
Mm. Uh, also, you, do you remember the developers Quantic Dream? Yeah. Who made Detroit Become Human? Mm. It's rumoured they're making a Star Wars game. Oh, they're dabbling in which, Star Wars. I said, because remember, EA got Star Wars yanked from them, I think. Mm. Well, not yanked, but they well, didn't have the developers. If it's going to be them, like they'll be very story-driven. Like, very story-driven mm-hmm. game. Like, very choices. Kind of well. like Heavy Rain-ish Detroit. Like, oh man. I could be doing other stuff, but like, it's going to be story-based. It'll be kind of cool seeing what kind of story that they go with, with what they can do. And I'm also thinking, is it going to be PlayStation exclusive? Because the other games have. Possibly. Who knows, man? We don't know. But, well, it's only, it's only rumoured, so, I mean, take it with a grain of salt. But that sounds still pretty cool. Like, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, you've heard it like. here. <laughs> if it does happen, we, we had the information, we found it, we got it, we, we gave it out as well. But yeah. Like Me, I wouldn't be sad about it. I like the trait. I like... Doesn't. Pretty, pretty much. Um, this is a Netflix thing, but they bought the Roald Dahl estate. They bought all his work. Oh, wow. Okay. Netflix can now make games, movies, shows, and all, about Every, all the children's everything books. Everything is under, under their, like, licensing now, so anything that they sell is under Netflix. Yep. Netflix bought it. Interesting. Which is pretty cool. Like, they can make things now. Hmm. Because I only out. read the books. I mean, there wasn't much else, was there? Just the children's books. No, there's been a lot of movies made. Oh, yeah, like the BFG and... Mm. Which is the been last one. Well, I watched Witch- Witches recently, and that's very it? dark movie. Oh, The Witches. Yeah, it's really dark for... A- I realized, that's like, in the knowledge, wasn't it? Like, that was, yeah, because like, the book, it's like, well, there's a, they've done a Witches movie, like, recently came out. It's got Anne Hathaway in it. Oh. oh. Oh, did you watch that one? Yeah. I was like... <laughs> I was like, when I watched it, I'm like, this is kind of dark for a kid's book. I was like, this is being like... Because when you're reading a book... Well, you know most kids' books are dark. We just didn't realise it because like, we just well, read them and thought, you, oh, yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say, because you read them and then you're, there's your own visualisation and then when you're actually being actually visualised to you, you're like, wow, okay, this is actually very different. Like, this is actually very scary and, like, gruesome almost. Like, I was like, ooh, jeez. Yeah. That's like um, the old nursery rhymes. They're fucking savage, like mm. Snow White and that. Like when well, you look at all... the 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 original um, what, Brothers Grimm stories of them, yeah, them, <laughs> yeah, the fairy tales, Brothers Grimm. Yeah, exactly, they're all the Brothers Grimm tales. Like they're fucked up. That's why I remember that show. Like that, they ca- captured Grimm was pretty good because it captured like a lot of them in a modern time, but like still dark. Oh, Grimm, that was a that good, was good bloody show. Yeah, that put it how the book was, like how. Because mm, he was an ancestor like, of the group. Nothing as it seems. Like, it's all complete opposite. Mm. <laughs> but um, that's not all I've got except for two more things, which one's Nintendo. <laughs> all right, podcast And the, us. <laughs> and the other mean... one is <laughs> Marvel are fighting to keep the rights for Spider-Man, Iron Man, and so on. Oh. Wow. Mm-hmm. They're right. They're trying to get the rights for Spider-Man, Iron Man, and other Marvel characters that they, they, they lease is pretty much up. But but then Marvel is owned by Disney. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then is it Marvel? Yeah, but Marvel still Disney? needs the Marvel needs the get them. Is it is it licensing, not movie based licensing, but is it like comic licensing? I think it's no, it's movies and that. It's everything. I think. Because they, because Disney bought the whole thing, so they own the licensing, except for Spider Man, because that's still Sony owned. Yeah, but um, what but was Marvel. it? Um, let me have a look. Uh, I wonder if it's a screenshot of it. I wonder if it's, if it's no, it's because it's the person who created them still own them. Yeah, own the characters. So they someone type of a D. I can't remember. Um, oh, uh, let me Ditko? get the picture up. I think that's the name. We have a look. Ditko. Um, it says Marvel and the heirs of comic book legend Steve Ditko. Yeah. Are ready for a legal battle over the rights of such characters, Doctor Strange, Spider Man, and more. Oh, who's going where then? Who's trying to fight for the licensing? Is it their original creators? I think Ditko's trying to keep it. Trying to keep all the. Like the. Well, he isn't himself, but like. His um, the, estate, the Ditko estate yeah, kind of thing. They're, they're, they're trying to keep it away from Marvel. I guess so. There's still revenue that themselves. I think what they're trying to mm-hmm. work out is that they still gain revenue. 
um, and not let it go somewhere else. Kind of like the Bob Ross deal where um, yep. they stole and everyone signed over everything from Bob Ross and his son doesn't gain a cent from it. I think the Disco Estate's trying to keep it so that money still goes to the family and it still kind of profits and not just go straight to Disney and they do what they want uh, with it. It says here, the, the Ditko Estate filed a notice of termination on Spider-Man last month. Oh. So that means at this stage that, that No Way Home is the last Spider-Man... Um, I wonder if it's... Oh, no, so they still have a contract for the movies. Cause that's, that's what I'm saying. I wonder if it's... No, it wouldn't, for... wouldn't be in Marvel, though. It'd be Sony's own, like, Venom kind of thing. That's what I'm wondering, that's what I'm wondering with the last... I think that's why they're getting Venom and Spider-Man in, no, I the one. I, yeah, no, I definitely... Actually, no, I definitely still therefore think... I think it may still be comic book-based. I think that's where they're going, because comic books are still being produced. I think what it comes down to is trying to keep the licensing, so therefore it's only certain people that can create comics under those characters. It's kind of like the thing that um, I think possibly what, that's what I'm assuming for is like how Sherlock Holmes is now a public domain character so that anyone can produce anything as a Sherlock Holmes story. There's no licensing okay. rights to it. I guess Ditko's trying to keep it so that it's under their estate that, that it has to go through. So when, anytime mm. someone wants to use, make a comic book and use a character, they got to go through the means to write the through comic the, book. Through the Not Ditko. just be like, because then if it's Marvel yeah. has it, then, <laughs> then next week you've got Spider-Man that's now a green alien that's not gendered of anything and then he can do whatever and it's not just comic books so though that could make uh, I mean, like Doctor Strange and that their Doctor movie Strange, stuff could you know, be up as well like, like they could do anything they could they could change the narrative of the characters and completely I guess that's what they're going for is they're trying to keep that as uh, someone's a state they're just trying to keep, they the keep that core mm. thing that they've already within, got within reasons that the character can be a well, they've had that license for 10 or no nearly 20 years really like because, oh, I mean, technically, that's not, that's not bad. it's weird, though, the because right, technically still. Disney, because technically, because, because Disney bought Marvel, so they own basically everything of Marvel, but then there's... Yeah, but Marvel only leasing own. from someone else, so... Because it would have been, see, this is all would have been claws captured from Stan Lee as well. He would have made these clauses to keep everyone allowed to keep their, con like, their characters, like, they mm -hmm. own those characters. So it's basically coming down to... Yeah, because did co-created, like, Spider-Man, or mm -hmm. co-created so Spider-Man and it's, Doctor Strange. What and... it is, it's basically coming down, like I said, the whole license, it's coming down to the copyright. So it's it's basically, they're trying to keep the copyright to the estate, so that they, the identity of those characters are copyrighted by the Ditko estate. So it's not owned yep. by like like say when if I was to work with so a publishing I, company, I guess we'll hear more about it eventually though. Like when it gets, it, it's 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 like and... it's like with like um say for example like even if, if with us or you see how like Rooster Teeth went or like Smosh went where yeah. they 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 partner up with someone like a, a higher company they buy mm. them and then they own like if we were to partner up with a bigger higher company they bought us we worked with them but technically they could fire us or we could leave but then they would take the beauty bros now we couldn't take the beauty bro name like beauty bros podcast like if oh, we, we, partnered... we would we would never give that name up though no but that's what i'm saying that's the whole copyright ground since <laughs> where it bounces like we would tr we would technically we're clause. not the only ones with it so no but that's what i mean like that's the clause boundary i'm thinking that's where it's coming from by the sounds of copyright mm. like the laws of these things i've seen before is that it's based it's copyright ownership so it's trying to keep the estate to own the ownership so that so this is they're going for the rights like mm. Yes, it's so, the I mean, it's, it's the right yeah, it's but like, thing. if they can't if they can't get it, they can't use them. Hmm. Oh, they they can within reason. It it it's one of those things. It's it's who makes the major money in the end. So rights allows them to do whatever they want with it. So whilst like I say, while the Ditko estate still owns it, a Marvel and everything can still use it within reason. Hmm. They just can't go full reign with it. So you know they yeah, can't go mad. Which they like, kind of need to for movies and. Hmm. So, I mean, they can still do what they're doing with the movies anyway because it's all in Marvel. Like, it's all under Marvel's roof. It's what's mm. this trouble is, is because there's Sony, there's there's Universal, I think, that owns some. There's, like, Paramount that I think has owns, owns someone. That's the harder part because you've got, like, Disney's a production company. You oh, know, Sony Sony's and a production Spider company. That's where it becomes harder because you've got brands working with other brands. Like, you don't, you're not going to see, like... Har Harley Davidson gonna start working with Ferrari like to do a collab like no <laughs> like they 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 two different ones oh, I mean, cars one's cool. bikes but <laughs> you know what I mean like it's different brands like yeah. one's cars one's bikes but they're not gonna franchise together like that. So I just thought that was an interesting thing. It's like well that's out of nowhere. So it kind of give, <laughs> it's kind of digging in, giving a little insight to people that don't really know what is maybe a little yeah. bit boring to some people. But yeah, it's it's <laughs> it gets weird with the in grounds of like how licensing copyright and. Everything I mean, I'll keep stuff. updated on Twitter about it. Cause... So exactly, we'll keep up on it. But yeah, so it's, it is interesting though. So it's it's interesting that they're trying to take it away from the Ditko estate. And they there's, a, there's a full fucking, a full page reader and I'm like, I'm not reading that. Yeah. Because so we just been, uh, they're going for the rights of them. That's pretty much it. 
So it's basically that's all, what, you, that's all you need to know. Basically, it's trying to be like Marvel's trying to just be like, well, these are our characters, even though they're, they're not our characters. Se- and they're trying, trying to secure to the future of these certain yeah. characters, just, which is like Spider Man and Doctor like, Strange, it, it, Iron it, Man. It, it's going to be in a weird spot because like. It's, it's, it's actually another example is like the Halo situation where Microsoft owned the rights to Halo but Bungie don't own them anymore. It's like that. It's like Bungie, even though Bungie made Halo, they've sold off the rights. Where dip like if 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 they were like being like Ditko where they wanted to keep no, the Halo. Li- stuff. No, Bungie literally sold Halo to them. Like it's Halo's Microsoft now. That's that's what I mean. Like it's the same situation as where Marvel's trying to like Marvel's Microsoft and they're trying to be like to Bungie being like, hey, sell us, sell us mm. Doctor Strange, sell us. Well, but let's buy them. And then Bungie's where Bungie should have been like, no, we're not selling you Halo. Halo is ours. We're going to keep it as they, our. You know, they should have kept Halo. Really. So you can see. Here's an example of what could happen if the they the Marvel takes Ditko's estate's ownership over these characters. It could go good, it could go bad. I mean red pill, blue pill. <laughs> or it could go the way of look at Halo four, five and infinite. <laughs> Doctor Strange ends up changing into someone completely different. Yeah. Oh, well. but, I mean it's the multiverse. Well, I hope the dead cast don't hold term and says I think Give us I think, a good reason. I think they need to work out some deal if they're going to try to, because I mean, yeah. I don't want to shaft him over on his creations. It's Ditko's creations, not Marvel's. Ditko's the one that sat mm-hmm. down and drew everything and go, this is how I envision him to look. This is what I believe he looks, if, you know, if, and made those if, characters. Because you can't change, if, if, if you don't have the rights to use the image, don't even use the characters. Like, just ditch them, go for the other ones. Like, mm. so, bring in some new ones. It's, it's because it's starting to get... I think the thing too is that scared that they're going to tarnish the characters' names because you got to think about that. Like, you have, you it does make sense because have you noticed the backlash that Thor's getting for Ragnarok with his fucking... how he should look compared uh, to the Hemsworth Thor that Marvel have made? Yeah, I know. The the, the chubby the chubby uh, Thor. It's just That's, like, that is Thor. Yeah. It gluttonous. He <laughs> freaking, he's like... He's, he's a spitting image of his father. Yeah. Like, look at Odin. Look how, look how Odin looked. Like, even the movies, okay, they, they made him a little bit more slimming. But, like, yeah. that's how, like, there are, like, then that's the thing. Because you look at the... the because in stories. the in actual mythology, Thor's a dick. Mm. Thor's a slob. Thor beats down on helpless giants. Mm-hmm. And they, they like, have that in Marvel's version, but they, they changed him up a lot. Like, even he's more of a good well. guy. In, he's definitely a good guy in that, though, like, yeah. compared to how he should be. Hmm. Like back in the first Thor, he was a bit of a dick. They kind of yeah. showed it. They showed it there a little bit, and then, but it's kind of cool. They made reference to that because they showed you in the movie Thor got fat. We had fat Thor. It made reference yeah, of he, how he got. He, he still, wasn't fat, fat though. He just no, had a no. bit of a beer gut. But I like how they still made reference to that fat mm. Thor though. Like they made reference to, like he's still tank and strong. That's, but like that's he how got he fat. should be the whole. But they went for that pretty look. That's the problem. But now look at him. He goes, but then you look at him, he goes, he went from fat to now being super jacked. And he's like, yeah. So Thor's changed himself even more. So yeah. It's it's interesting. So I think that's what they're probably going on about. It's like, they changed it. Because Thor in the... But I mean, look at how the game went, the Avengers game went. People had a hissy fit about <laughs> the characters and that. Not being like the movie counterparts. Like they, were, they were too similar. I know, they were too similar, but it's like they're not meant to be the... And then the voices up. tried too hard. I was like, uh, if you want a Hemsworth, just get fucking Hemsworth to do Thor. <laughs> I know. It's like, god dang it, Square Enix. But yeah, it's just like, uh... I don't know, it's Which just I... one of those crazy things that people do. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. <laughs> Exactly. You can't please everyone. As, no, as so we know. I, I mean, well, we will segue into that in a second here. I think because I think you're you've got no more news to talk about, and we got this. No, I've just got the Nintendo Nintendo's to go. So I think I think we might take the main chunk out of it first. I think I think we need to have this high bit because we're going to talk for a bit here, and then we can maybe talk about the announcements afterwards. So the biggest elephant in the room is if we could get we get this out of the way right now is they they announced the cast listing for the Mario animated movie oh, fuck's that's sake. made by Illumination. So so they they yeah, announced yeah, it off. the off-brand Pixar from Wish. Basically, so uh, by now I'm sure a lot of you that are, that will be listening to this episode or watching this episode have seen or heard this listing, but we'll go through the list anyway for those that may haven't or just to at least. For continuity sake of the conversation, we're going to start going into here. Is are you, got, are, you, are you going to pop their faces up so you know who they are? I think people know <laughs> well and truly who they are. 
Um, Probably only like three or four of them. But we've got Chris Pratt, who's voicing Mario. Anya Taylor-Joy, who's voicing Peach. Um, Charlie Day, voicing Luigi. Jack Black, uh, voicing Bowser. Keegan-Michael Key, doing the voice of Toad. Seth Rogen, as the voice of Donkey Kong. Fred Armisen, as the voice of Cranky Kong. Kevin Michael Richardson, as Kamik. Uh, Sebastian uh, Manscaloco, uh, I can't, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but he's playing Spike. Uh, and apparently, which is no point of making saying it's a surprise cameos. Like, well, it's not much of a surprise. You've given it away now in the in the title listing, but yeah. surprise cameos from Charles Martinet, Martinet, which is the, the original voice actor, like Martinet. Like, are, are we allowed to bag on Nintendo, or we? Oh we, no, we will. We get flagged by him if what? we do that. Well, that's exactly it. They, 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 I mean, I'll be, I'll be hilarious if Nintendo tried to have a fucking flag. The way Nintendo get, but like they're getting roasted at the moment all over the internet. The internet because is you roasting. notice like, you can't really stream Nintendo games unless. Oh, that's why I made jokes. Game. I've been making jokes since they posted this list out. It's like, so people can't make fan-made games based off Nintendo ga- characters or games. People can't do f- film projects without Nintendo having a hissy fit. Oh, I but they can... that, that okay. fucking... That fucking, what, Mario porno that they bought so no one would... It would... Yeah. <laughs> but yet... But yet... But yet... They can happily put out this fucking shitty-ass fucking list of characters. I mean, playing it's probably going to be a good movie, but... Why Chris Pratt is Mario? That's baffling. the worst part. That's the worst part. But oh. actually, thinking about it now, looking over the list, they specifically say when they have like the characters of the characters they're playing, they haven't got listed as Princess Peach. They've got it listed as Peach, which is interesting. Oh, well, the one I saw was Princess Peach. Was it? Because this listing was yeah. another one that was posted from their um. No, this was the, the 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 official um no, no. Nintendo okay. event. They had Princess Cause, Peach. Because yeah, this was posted because I got the listing how it's worded from the um Ninte- their Nintendo um Twitter mm. account, and I was like, they didn't actually say Princess Peach, which is weird enough. But yes, yeah, so, like, we all know because so <laughs> got... Bowser's there, so of course it is Bowser. So I mean, a lot of us have been making jokes. Me and um, uh, we're making me and Neb were making jokes about um about it last night on stream when we were talking about it. We just made, like, <laughs> we basically narrated our own version of the Mario animated film with all these characters. So, <coughs> that, was, that was a throat bubble there. Uh, but it's pretty funny. So, it just seems weird. And there's everyone's getting on it as well. Everyone's been posting memes and stuff now as well. Like, getting the voices and cutting them into, like, scenes of, like, Mario characters doing stuff and seeing how that would work. And it's it's just weird. Like, you've got... How? Because they wouldn't be using their real voices. They'd be using, like... And anim- anim- animation voices like over the top fucking like I don't like well that's what I mean like we've seen Chris Pratt do it. his animated voice if you if you remember the Lego movie and it just sounded like Chris Pratt he did the, he did Emmett and he just sounded oh, like Chris Batman, Pratt wasn't he no he was he was the main character oh, well, I thought it was who was Batman then uh Will Will on it oh yeah it was oh, yeah <laughs> yeah no he, he did the voice of Emmett. And it's just him talking. Oh, it yeah. just sounds no different. And I'm like, I don't think I've ever heard Chris Pratt do voice acting or anything no. sound different. He just sounds himself all the time. Yeah, well, um, I was watching because David Jaffe did a. He ranted about this on his YouTube. And he said the reason they got Chris Pratt was because Mario probably goes to Brooklyn and gets the accent like Chris Pratt does American. Because like, they never really stated that he's Italian, ever. He just said, it's me, Mario. That's pretty much it. Well, I'm, I'm, well if it's kind of like the parallel to like the games, because you know how like in Mario Odyssey, he travels around and goes to different locations. And I just feel like... Yeah, if, it's, if it's like they say he changes... America, and he's going to be, just be Chris Pratt. That's like. what I feel like. I feel like it's going to be like... It's going to be like, if I get into character, it'll be like... Yahoo! It's me, Mario. I've come to Brooklyn. How are you? You know, it's like it was like, or if Mario came to Australia, she says, "Yahoo! I'm Mario. I've come to a down land down under. Let's go have a few beers, mate. Let's go, Luigi. What you doing? Come down, have a few beers. Like it's like, what the hell? Well, there's like, no Luigi in there. Yeah, Luigi's there. It's done by Charlie Day. Oh, the, he's from. He's in. I thought, um, I thought it was someone else. Sorry, Charlie Day. He's like he's. Uh, I posted from in Philadelphia. Yeah. Always so, sunny in Philadelphia. But I like he rants, either, like... he rants and crambles and scar- carries on all the time, and everyone's been making memes of it now with like all the different scenes from. Um, have you seen them? They've been oh, um, kind of. They've yeah. been doing um, so they're getting scenes from it's always sunny in Philadelphia with him ranting, and then they've been like painting over his body in a, him in a Luigi suit, and just having him ranting that going like. Just Luigi though. He's just gone crazy, and it's just like it's hilarious. Because Luigi is a bit 
here and there. <laughs> mm. So it's just like I was like I feel like they could have like uh, we were talking about too. That, like they could have just got the whole it's sunny in Philadelphia cast and just had them do the voices of you could have the Danny DeVito as fucking Bowser and shit. Like well, even you could even had Danny DeVito as Mario, and everyone's been saying they should have had Danny DeVito as Mario. Like oh, everyone yeah. all over the internet's going have Danny DeVito as Mario. And it's just going like out of hand. Like everyone's like trying to petition now to have Danny DeVito as Mario, and it's like why couldn't they have just done that? Like. Yeah, he's old, but because like, there's an elimination, they're probably one relative probably games. A, a low budget animation, like <sighs> probably I guess for like an hour. Well, you've had you seen like the, we've got the minions and and the spickle me, and then you've got like the Grinch they did, and like oh, it's probably just going like to be a straight to DVD or straight to streaming fucking. But it's just so weird, like having these people. Like Key, I can kind of see as Toad. Like I can kind of get Key as Toad because he. He kind of rambles on and he's kind of but funny. And then voice. he's more of like in your face, this dog yelling at you, which Toad. I mean, if you've seen the Toad memes, Toad gets up in your face now. If you've noticed how he's in the last oh, few yeah. games and stuff, he's like screaming all the time now. Where he Toad Nip used to be so polite well, and quiet, now he's just snapped. Like, have you noticed that? If you look at the continuity of the mm. games of where Toad was at the start, he was a little bit pent up, but he was kind of polite and he was like kind of. Like, he was kind of, like, paranoid and alert at times. Now he's just, like, Aah! and he's, like, in your face, like, ready to go, ready to scream, and just, like... I remember playing Mario Kart 8. That, he was pretty wild in that. <laughs> like, he's just, like, cracked now, because, I mean, he is a mushroom after all, so... He cracked his mushroom. <laughs> but then you got Seth Rogen as Gonky, uh, Gonky Kong. Gonky Kong. I don't Donkey get how... He, he can do that, uh, laugh. Uh, Donkey Kong doesn't uh, do that. Uh, yeah, no, you're going to hear this stupid laugh. Uh, like, I don't even recreate that laugh he does. Uh, uh, <laughs> fucking, I don't know. Fucking hairball. Like, you know, it's because he just laughs. It's just how Seth Rogen laughs. Like, you can't help that. But it's just going to be so weird seeing Donkey Kong do that. It's gonna be like, Does he actually what? talk, though? Does Donkey Kong actually That's what I keep English? bringing up. It's like, if you look at all the games and everything he's done, like, Donkey Kong's he the only character not to talk. Like, every other he character talks, speak. but Donkey Kong doesn't. But then people go, oh, but what he about He just makes the, noises. What about the Donkey I mean, Kong guess... cartoon? It's like, yeah, he talked in that, but that's because it was a cartoon show. Like, he doesn't Dude, actually this is, an, this, is, this is a cartoon. Like, he's not... Technically, he doesn't talk. Like, he's been one of those characters that never talks. Or well, he talks, but he makes noises. He he he's not an actual vocal character. Unless they got him just because he can probably do a monkey, probably better than anyone else. I, or uh, I don't know. Who knows? Well, who then, fucking knows? We've been making the everyone's been making the memes, and we've been making the memes too of Jack Black as Bowser. Oh, it's been it's the content is. Just I don't know hard. how that one's gonna work either, because he doesn't really talk either, does he? Except for some. Yeah. It's me, Bowser! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's what I just feel like that's what he's going to be, like, doing. Like, you just see moments... I just feel like we, we imagine moments where it's just, like, imagine just Mario and stuff doing that next bit. Just come, Bowser just comes flying in, like, Yeah! Mario! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Like, like, that's what I feel like. It's just going to be, like... Fuck. And that's what I mean, like, we're making them... I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it, really, we're, like... We're making parody songs. You were missing out, though, last night. We're making parody songs of, like, Tenacious D, like, as... And we're saying it should be, like, Jack Black is Bowser, and Carl Gas is one of the um, was one of the Goombas. <laughs> it's just like, hey. it's like all the Goombas make noises, but there's one Goomba that just talks because Carl Gas is like, hi. It's normal. <laughs> He's <just> like, hi. It's <laughs> 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 just Jack Black and Carl Gas <sighs> doing appearance, but it's just like, oh, we just had all the content for it. We just like, it was so funny because we were like, I made up the song where it's just like, a long ass fucking time ago in a kingdom full of mushrooms they lived a humble princess and she didn't know what to do. <laughs> and they, <"Nee." laughs> like, the whole, like, I made up a whole song on the spot. It was so good. But that's like, that's like, that's what I feel like. It's like, is Bowser going to break out in song or is he going to be like, yeah, It's the most diverse like, fucking miss bunch of misfits for a fucking animated Mario thing. There should be at least one Italian in there for at least Mario or Luigi. Like, but like they have very that's the thing though, they have very unique voices. Like you say, they're very diverse cast. They have very like Seth Rogen has that very well, Chris unique. Chris Pratt doesn't. He's just got an average like. That's what I mean. Like, like... That's, that's what I mean. That's why it's diverse because you've got Seth Rogen who has that deep, kind of weird voice he has and that laugh, which is going to make he's going to laugh. So Donkey Kong's going to be having that weird laugh. Then you're gonna have Jack Black with his vocal give people range. Nightmares. Like you're gonna have Jack Black with his vocal range being like Bowser, but Bowser's not gonna be like the bad guy. He sounds like he's gonna be like a cool guy because Jack Black's never played a bad guy. Yeah, he has. I think. No, <laughs> he's never been a bad guy. He's never been. 
And he always has that. He always has that same mentality. Like if you look at all the games, like, fun, it was just, eh. no, yeah. But like you see, his, he's got an iconic voice, like Kung Fu Panda. And, crack. Like it'd be like <laughs> listening to Kung Fu Panda, like I don't oh, karate, no. <laughs> like. No. Like, like no. that's what's gonna be, that's what's gonna be. So like, what is Bowser gonna be doing, running around everywhere, be like, yeah, Bowser, yeah. like karate m- martial arts. And then you've got like the Charlie Day, who just has that high pitched voice. So you're gonna tell it's him, like every time he's. And I mean, he's, that's like, kind of Luigi. they like he's like paranoid on the edge. Key has, but then you've got then you've got Toad, who has a high pitched voice, but then you've got Key playing the voice, which who doesn't have a high pitched voice, which makes no sense. Like, oh, he kind of does. He it's just not... talks fast. Mm, he talks very fast. It's just like, what? So Which just... Toad doesn't... I mean, he does now, but he didn't for many, many <laughs> fucking decades. He didn't say much. Mm. And then, of I course, just get Chris it. Pratt's just, hey, I'm Chris Pratt. Who was the casting <laughs> person? Because they should be fired. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering what memes they're going to have in this film because it'd be kind of funny. Where it's like, who are you? I'm Mario. Who? <laughs> like, to the Star-Lord meme with fucking Mario. Yeah, someone said, why is Star-Lord Mario? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, makes sense. And there's, oh, there's been so many memes, dude. There's been so many memes. There's, like, that one cover. It's like, they, they Nintendo tried to tell us earlier on, because it has that cover of Mario in one of the games, and he's doing that pose where he's, like, doing the Star-Lord pose with the guns. He's like, shh. That, that pose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like Nintendo tried warning us earlier on, <laughs> but we never listened. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. So it's just like, God damn it. I mean, it comes out next Christmas, so it's sort of ages. Hmm. So I see what happens, but yeah, everyone's just been making memes of it lately since they announced it. There's just been memes. I everywhere. wouldn't be surprised if there's cast changes after all the fucking. Well, that's exactly it. Everyone's been pushing. There's been a lot of dirt coming up now from. They don't make sense as Peach. Like it's just a. It's just you just need a woman to play Peach. Like. <laughs> well, <laughs> a lot of backlash is coming out on. Um, a big thing that's coming out though too is um, a lot of backlash is coming out on Chris Pratt now. Like people have been pretty fine and chill with Chris Pratt. But it's been coming out now because he's very um, anti um, LGBT. Um, a lot of that's been coming up on him against him now with the backlash because of how a- anti um, LGBT he is. And yeah, it's just like everyone's just trying to like. It's just him though. Like he cares. Mm. And that's what I mean. It's like it's like crazy. He's, it's not like he's making hate about it or anything. It's just mm. he does. But that's what I mean. Like everyone's bringing that up now that he's he he doesn't like support like LGBT stuff now, and it's just like. They're just picking at it. Just being like, he's, he doesn't do this, this, and it's like, oh god. The majority of the world doesn't, and you're picking out Chris Pratt. Mm. It's like it's like all no- because he's popular. Like, mm. and it's just what I'm saying. Like, it never happened any time before. Like, they've known for the whole time that he's been like this. No one's ever bothered to brought it up to cancel him. Now. now it's because he's Mario. Like, there's a trying to add to an excuse. Like, I mean, hey, I want, I don't want, I want, I don't want Chris Pratt as Mario. Like, I want Chris Pratt cancelled as Mario. Like, <laughs> just like it doesn't I want fit. an Italian as like, Mario. It just needs to be appropriate. Like yeah, again, they've never stated his fucking. He, they, they, they they never stated. He just he's, a, he's just a just a plumber. He's That's Italian it. or he's Brook from Brooklyn. That was always the two narratives. It was either an Italian plumber or he's from Brooklyn. But it's just like even then, Chris Pratt doesn't sound like he has any of those voices going for him no. at all. He's he's just a typical American. And it's just like oh, I just I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we'll f- we'll, f- we'll find, find out, out next year. Once we, well, I, I know once we get we'll somewhere f- through the year, we'll get a trailer that will come out in the trailer. Oh yeah, us- and everyone's be like, "That's shit. That's horrible. Dislike." So they're like, "Okay, we'll we'll change things." <laughs> I mean, that's the thing too, because then it would have to be if, if they end up listening to it. It's just taking Chris, like, for example, if they end up just taking Chris Pratt out, it's just taking him out and just having someone come in and re-record the audio. That's all it'll come down to, because most of the time too, they don't change more than just Chris Pratt. Hey, no, but that's the bit that I'm saying. Like, that's the main key point. Everyone's yeah. Been, like, most most of the problems is is what I've been hearing is everyone dislikes Chris Pratt as Mario. People can handle the rest of the cast listing. It's just having Chris Pratt as Mario. So it, it, it I can't handle been... fucking t- Rogan as fucking <laughs> Donkey Kong. I know it makes no sense. So <laughs> I, I mean, like, how... so it technically, if they end up doing a replacement of an actor, or it's Jack Black as Bowser, that doesn't make any sense. I would have put um, Rogan as Bowser and Jack Black as Donkey Kong because he makes fucking queer ass noises. I know that would have made more sense. I mean, I joked about the fact saying they should have just gotten Aquafina to do Bowser. <laughs> Aquafina, you don't remember her? She's she's in um. She she was in that last Jumanji movie, and then she was in um, uh, she was in um, Shang Chi. Who the fuck? 
Yeah, Maybe. she's got she's got that she's got a rusky voice, and I I feel like because she did the voice of um the dragon in Raya, and stuff like that because she got a rusty voice. I reckon I was like this would be actually kind of cool, even though because it's a dragon, Bowser's a dragon. Okay, yeah, he's somewhat it's a he, but dragons being him, he could easily is be not Jumanji? She is, yeah, it's a girl. But I thought it'd be funny. Say she is Aquafina. Aquafina. Mm. I was I was thinking it'd be kind of funny to have her voice a character like that because she's got that raspberry like smoker's voice almost it sounds like it would kind of work as being a creature like that being like a, a dragony kind of creature because she has done a dragon before of course but it would have been kind of funny because oh my god I just googled like who, what is she known for 2012 viral YouTube video my veg <laughs> Uh, I, anyway, I was like making the joke, but I'm like, it would be kind of different to throw things on on its head, having some because just the voice she has, it's just like it would be kind of funny to mm. have Bowser with a different voice than you normally hear, but yeah, like to but... balance out the the attitude because it's just the attitude she That's, has. As, Seth as, as, as Bowser makes more sense than Jack Black. Mm. Uh, I feel like they've really mixed around. Like I'm gonna run real quick. You're gonna run real quick. You got to You get to gonna... carry it, Des. I to carry it. I don't know how I'm gonna carry this. I don't know how long it's gonna be. He's running off now. Jim's Jim's running out the door. He's he's taking the lead in. He's shot around the corner. Out there he goes. Door closes behind him, and he's racing off. And we're going to time him now. We don't know how long this has gone for. Jim clicking, and I might have to put an edit in here, and it's going to be like twelve minutes later. I don't even have anything to talk about in this spot. I might actually have to put one of those edits in because I know I'm going to have to edit this episode because there's a fucking box over the side because the program didn't want to work and it's now left the Discord box and you can see the Discord, the Beardy Bros Discord, by the way, Beardy, Beardy Bros Beardy Hub. It's, you can't fully see it, but I'm gonna have to, I might block it out. I might just block the trim side. I don't know. We could even just leave it in. There's all these Discords that I'm in, um, but that's the Discord. This is our server, by the way. So if you want to join the Discord, um, I'm, I'm going to have to put the invite out somewhere. Beardy Bros Discord. Um, we are in the Beardy Hub, which is normally an open channel. I should actually have that closed. Um, definitely once this channel gets bigger, if it does, uh, the Discord gets bigger. We don't want people jumping in while we're just having a podcast, which we've had before. Where we are, it was me, Jim, and Wookie were having a chat, and uh, his brother jumped in just to have a listen. And I had to pop that, uh, what's his name, dude, up in the corner, which was pretty funny. Um, which I thought that was, a, yeah, that was kind of a, hell, a crack up when he just came in. I was like, what? Why is he in here? Who's doing this? What is happening? I wonder if there's any, um... Cyberpunk news, by the way. We haven't had any... Uh, we do this every week. So let's have a look if there's anything new this week. Um, apparently there's a mod fix con control mod fix. Um... Uh, they're working on a new game already, apparently. There, people are trying to... Okay, so here's some article headlines that have come out the last couple of days. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 hiring for new open world game. Cyberpunk 2077 fans plead to CD Projekt Red over what to include in 1.4 update. Uh, former Witcher 3 Cyberpunk 2077 designer joins Riot Games for upcoming League of Legends. Oh, upcoming League of Legends MMO. Interesting. Uh, what if I told you Cyberpunk 2077 is better than GTA 5? Um, CDPR is targeting late 2021 release date for... Oh, that was three weeks ago. Cyberpunk 27 is next gen. Oh, we already know about that. Why am I reading that? Um, these are all old now. Nothing else new in the Cyberpunk way of things. There's apparently a fix that was popped up, which was a... Mod fix is one of RPG's most um, annoying features on the controller. Apparently, I don't know what the feature was. Um, pff, I didn't seem to have any problems. But apparently they fixed a issue on the controller. I don't know. Uh, nothing else there in the way of cyberpunk related stuff as we usually cover cyberpunk. So pretty quiet on cyberpunk's front. Um, but if, but if you are if you want check out the merch store, check out redbubble.com and search up the Beardy Bros podcast or the Beardy Bros and you should be able to find the Beardy Bros merch. We've got plenty of merch up there. We've got the uh, the, the, the Mario... Oh, actually, you can see it on Jim's right there, but in the back there, we've got the basic Beauty Bros podcast merch shirt. He's got it in the green, where it's just our faces with a podcast mic, and it just says Beauty Bros. Uh, that's one of our basic li uh, shirt lines. We've got a few different varieties of that. We've also got the 
uh, Super Beardy Bros range, which is our uh, Mario and Luigi, ironically enough, our versions of Mario and Luigi. Um, we got that shirt up there on the store, and we've got the uh, one year anniversary still up on the store as well. Uh, the Beardy Bros one year anniversary or beard anniversary um, episode shirt. Uh, that's the thumbnail which you've mostly seen, which is very cyberpunk inspired. That's up on the store as well, and we should hopefully have some more merch up on there soon. Once I get around to getting some designs done, I haven't had much time to work on designs, and I'm hoping to get more of the designs done, and we can get them up there on the store as well, so I have some more designs out there for people to buy. Um, I know hats, I think, are now available as well, so I'm going to start adjusting the uh, designs for hats. Um, and yeah, people can start buying hats and get some more shirts and, over, you know, leggings and stuff and socks, and skirts, and dresses, singlets, uh, I don't know if I've got the face masks, but, um, maybe that could be a thing, we could have my face and Jim's face, we could have maybe our mouths, photo of our mouths, put them up on there, with the beard, possibly, who knows, if people want that, um, we could do that for the face masks, if you want to wear our faces as the, uh, just like, hmm, as a face mask, we can do that, if you just want, um, but yeah, just always, just hit up our, um, socials as well, we've got our socials, um, you know, tweet at us, the Beardy Bros, if you think of any kind of things you'd, you'd be interested in us to uh, have up on the store. Um, people like to wear different things, or if you just want to give us some feedback, any kind of topics you want us to cover, always hit us up on the socials. Uh, but yes, definitely check out the uh, red the store, the Beardy Bros podcast on Redbubble, on Beardy Bros. Uh, also look up, uh, as under Pickle Tube TV as well, that's another way to uh, find all the merch as well. Yeah. So definitely find the merch, and uh, buy the merch. Every little bit it counts. Yeah. Yeah. He's back. He's back. I talked about all kinds. I was talking about how I was going to cut it, and then I'm, just to catch you up. And you, know I was how, about... you know how I felt when you went to when you ditched me. The other time. And then and then I was talking about how we got the weird bar going on. I'm going to have to edit it, maybe. I don't know. And then I was just talking about some side punk crap, which is nothing new. It gets and awkward, doesn't it? Plugged the oh, no, kind of not really. And then I just plugged the merch. Yeah. I mean, it... catching Jim up on the speed. You guys already know what happened. You were here listening, so. Thank you, Jody, for listening. And Wookie, thank you for listening, as always. As you as you guys aren't here in the episode, you are listening to the episode. I know you are. It took you a while. It's kind of funny that uh, they, they finally messaged after the whole... Or a uh, few days after listening to those episodes, and then they sent through, though. They're like, <laughs> no, I don't think I will. <laughs> right? It took them a while. I was like, I'm not there yet. What do you mean? There's... I like how Jody goes, what do you mean there's another episode? It's like, dude, that was like... The... You're listening to last week's episode. Like, last, last week's episode. And he's like, what? <laughs> Yeah, he was so far behind. Even he was confused. He didn't realise he was it so is, far behind. It, <laughs> it was kind yeah, of funny. I, I think he was waiting for it, but we didn't... It was later, I think, we released it. The day novel. later or something, yeah. But he listened to, but he was still behind because he was listening to the last episode. <laughs> so, I don't know, it was weird. I'm thinking he got it mixed up somewhere. Like, he skipped a week and then went back to it, I think. Well, yeah, he must have skipped a week, exactly. He must not have listened. And then he finally come back around to the episode, so... He, I mean, we've seen it. We've seen how the weeks go by quickly. We're here every week as oh, always. Oh, yeah. So. Well, this happens, I think, well, I feel like every few days in the potty, like... <sighs> yeah, it happens it's just... once a week. It's once every week. Every week. No, I mean, like, it feels like four days later, it's like potty again. I'm like, hmm. oh! <laughs> like, hips up. Uh, I mean, we've gone through, like, crazy. because I'm looking at this now, we've, we're not even at an hour yet. This episode's going to actually be a short episode, which I, I'm kind of it's happy. Not, it's, not a, it's not a bad thing. No, I'm actually happy we're going to have a short episode for a change. So, we've 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 come to the, the final little bit on the end of the episode, I think, because I think once we're done, we're done um, for this week. Um, oh, did just... you speak about Bayonetta 3 and all that? Get no, 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 I haven't done that yet. I was going to wait for you to come back. I was oh. just plugging and talking other stuff. So, um, that's why I thought I'll do this and we can wrap up. So, it's the Nintendo Direct. So, of course, mm -hmm. we had the announcement from the uh, the cast listing for the movie. Uh, they dropped that on the uh, Nintendo Direct. But they've also did their announcement of a few games that we've seen stuff before and some more info on stuff and stuff that's being released. Um, but, yeah, we've... we've um, I mean, there's a couple of interesting titles here. Some that, But it's very... At the same time, very... Eh, okay. Like, it's not... Wow! Yeah. That's cool! Amazing! Like... I everyone mean, seems to be talking one, more about the movie. One, one was. One was. <clears throat> but I feel like Just definitely... Probably know what I'm talking about. Mm. Um, but definitely, the, I think people are more talking about the movie. I think people are more talking about the movie than the games in the end, but... It's, which is weird. Yeah. It's, it's a Nintendo... Apart from Bayonetta 3, people yeah. are still keen. So... And Metroid. Yes, so... But everyone knew that was coming anyway, so... Yeah, so um, they, they showed off their new Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. 
Um, that so looks good. good. Kirby's first 3D game. Mm. So that look actually looks really cool. I'm like, kind of keen for that when that comes out. I'm like, oh, that's going to be pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm like, keen, but I don't like the art. Uh, it looks like a Wii game. I'm a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most of the time they're like that anyway. Um... Nintendo need to move on to new things. They need to. Well, that's, moving, well we, will, we will bring that up in a sec, talking about moving on from new things, which they're not. Um, they announced, of course, more on the Bayonetta 3, so that was pretty cool. That's still coming, which is good. So we're going to get that yeah, still. People thought that was cancelled. Well, it was talked for a while. It was because it was very delayed and everything going on, but mm, it's still coming, yeah. so that's all right. Um, it announced, what, four years ago, and there's still, like, nothing like on that. it. Yeah, something like that. Um, they announced the Splatoon 3. Splatoon! That's pretty, that's pretty cool, though. So that's still going strong, then. That's still got a um, fan base, and that keeps thriving, so that's doing all right. I remember playing the first game, but I never really played... I didn't get, end up getting the second game, because I was like, eh. I never played them. It's, it's, one of those, it's just a shooter. It's just a paintball shooter, really. You don't um, shoot anyone, though. You just shoot the ground and walls, right? And No, you do shoot people with paint and, and ground and stuff. You do all that kind of stuff. It's more or less you shoot them to knock them out of the way and stuff like that. I think it is. Stun them and stuff, yeah. It's, one, it. of, it's one of those things. Um, then there was monster. Uh, there was announced that uh, Monster Hunter Rise is getting an expansion. Um, yeah. Does it need did, it, though? Well, I mean, there's a, it, the game's there. That People like playing those games, so it's better if they're releasing expansion than being like this is i mean it's kind of a good thing though nintendo's starting to do expansions now because they always they, did they, no, they did always. in the second whole game <laughs> well that's what i was gonna say they usually make it where you go hey you're gonna buy a whole new game to get that um or it's like a re-release like you've seen that with the pokemon yeah, my games, time but, always had expansions though but not for well that's the thing not for switch though they've been very the way it is mm. it's, um, it's interesting now that they're expanding out more like that and doing more expansions and just being like, here's a whole new game with a new title, but it's the exact same as the last game. And all like that how big is the expansion then? Do we know that or? Nothing that I could see at this stage. So they just announced that there was just a new expansion coming. Um, they also announced the Chocobo from the, the, which is in the universe of the Final Fantasy universe. They're doing a Chocobo GP. So it's just a Final Fantasy, I guess, style. Are you see it? A Chocobo GP. Just a... Final Fantasy style. Are you going to race Chocobos? Yeah. Fuck off. Mario, it's just a, yeah, Final Fantasy style Mario, Mario. Kart, I guess. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a Mario, is it? It's just a Mario Kart. It's a Mario Kart. Chocobo! Yeah, but Chocobo, oh, why them? They, they're not that fast. They're just a chicken. I don't know. They're in little go-karts and they're racing around, so. They're in go- They're not even like yeah. running and chocobos. Like you're not riding chocobos. It's that chocobos. riding chocobos would have been better than actually having chocobos in carts. Yeah, because wait, 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 wait. So the characters aren't necessarily on the chocobos. It's just the chocobos in the cart steering. Yeah. Let me look at this shit. Yeah, because I looked it up and I saw the screenshot. And it was a chocobo sitting in a go kart. Let me move this over here. Um, oh. have a look at that. I'm gonna have sip sip, sip some of my tea. In my nice, uh, oh, it fucking Chocobo car with a fucking Ch- Chocobo GP. Look it up. He's gonna look it up right now. I'm gonna sip my tea. Chocobo. Chocobo racing. Chocobo GP. GP. Oh, that looks so retarded. See, I'm sitting in the go That was a game already. Yeah, well, the new one's Chocobo GP. March 1999. Mm. Okay, De- Choc- De- developer Square. <laughs> Chocobo GP. Um, yeah, it just shows. Have you seen it? Did you look Square at not even Square Enix. Square's just Square. Hmm. Did you Did you look it up? Did you actually type in Chocobo GP? Yeah, I, I, I typed in Chocobo Racing. I can't remember that, but then Chocobo GP Switch Racing. So I'm guessing yeah. it's the old game just ported to Switch by the look of it. It looks a lot newer. It looks a lot newer from the screenshot I saw. Chocobo looks exactly the same. Oh, God. It's just a rebuild. I'm not even kidding. It looks exactly the same. But yeah, it was in a, the, it was in a the, go-kart. The same green tie and everything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was in a go-kart. It was just so weird. Um, they also announced Castlevania Advance Collection for the Switch. Um, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty cool, though. Then they showed off a little bit of gameplay for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the Switch. Which looked kind of funny because it's just the original PC version in a high definition port, like clean graphics. It's all blocky still, but it's all high high quality, high definition. 
Not even high quality, I don't, I don't know. High definition. The same quality is just on a fucking portable. 50 hertz, 60 hertz, whatever the fuck it is. It's a lot cleaner, definitely. I don't think it would do... I mean, it probably could do 60 hertz on a Switch, maybe. Better frames, it was just cleaner. Oh, that's allowed. Um, the other I thing... had that on full volume. Uh, the other thing as well, uh, there's the new Mario Party Superstars coming. And it's going to feature... It's got rollerblades on... Oh, God. It's got, it's got rollerblade motorcycles. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so Mario, Mario, Kart. Mario Party Superstars um, is coming out and they're going to be featuring over 100 mini games uh, collected from all 10 other previous Super Mario Party games. Oh, that just... Oh, excuse me. So that just beat out all the other games. I just have that one. That's a definitive way to play them. That's basically where they've been getting for a while now because the last one was like, here's some selected mini games from other games and now it's just like, okay, now we've got the new one which is going to get the... the oh, you don't necessarily best. need it. Mm. They just made it because they can. Basically, yeah. But this That's Nintendo the... because they can. So, I mean, I'd most people will buy it I'll because most, they're fucking stupid. Well, I was going to say, I'd most probably buy Superstars because I haven't bought any of the others in a long time. Oh. So, I'd most probably buy it just so I can have the whole... Yeah, but the ones we bought from 1 to 9, we'll go buy the 10 because, of the, no, because 10, they buy everything. That... No, there's huh? new ones. There's Superstars is 11. Oh, so they buy buying 11, even though they've got 1 to 10. Yeah. There was a list online that showed majority of the maps come from the first five or six games, by the looks of it. And then um, there's like only like two levels. Oh, it's not even all of them. It's just well, it's kind of so funny. Like... I, I guess I guess they do that wise because if you look at the game, so you look at ten, which had most of the maps from like one, two, three, and four. So what's the point? <laughs> of, so then there's only technically three original mini games from ten, and then you look at <clears> nine. And there's only mostly like the four original mini games in nine because they've used mini games from the other versions. So I guess when they say it's a hundred mini games, this is all the mini games that have been made overall in the one game now because you think about it you know like you look at games like Call of Duty where they recreate maps it's like technically they've only got one new map they've just recreated like five of the old maps and they chuck it in so technically there's only one new map so then they do the next because game because all, all the new maps are in the DLCs mm, so I guess that's where I guess looking at the list now think about it I mean that's just mainly Treyarch that's, it's kind of funny if you think about it there. Therefore, Mario 10, when it came out, it's like, here's some mini games. It's like all the old mini games and it introduces like one new mini game. It's like, look at this, we have these mini games, but it's like all the ones we like and here's one new one. And now 10, uh, the 11 is going, let's just grab more. How many people complain about Nintendo, but they, they keep buying the games? Yeah. They keep supporting what they're doing. Yep. I only own three Switch games, four, three or four. That's, a, that's it. I own a few Switch games, but the games aren't actually. But a lot of the games aren't actually like Nintendo-based games. Like they're yeah, one one of mine's Crash Bandicoot. Hmm. The other, the other two are Nintendo though. I mean, well, I've got like Pokemon. Pokemon. And I mean, I got Pokemon games, but most of the other games are like Minecraft, and there's a few other games that are like games I could get on other platforms. Which Mario Kart Eight was already a thing on the Wii. It's just the deluxe that the Switch got, like. It's the same fucking thing. They could have made number nine. Yeah. Mario Kart 9. He said Mario Kart 8 uh, Deluxe. I don't know. Well, here's, here's Mario Kart 9 with featuring 30 one of the previous character. maps with one yeah. new map. <laughs> and one new character. Uh, that throwing is in there. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the engine noise. It's just his laugh. <laughs> that's a rocket league thing there hey that's a rocket league thing there yeah you listen in psionics put seth rogan's laugh as a as an engine noise yeah that'd be dope i wonder if someone's modded that and done that i wonder if someone's modded that someone's got to have done that oh i'll just get a joke back here yeah. Like a fucking scream from Jack Black as an engine. Just when he's stuck on those high pitch noises, it's like, so when it starts up, when you go to Excel, I was like, oh, like, oh, clearing my throat and fucking my car took off. But here's another thing. So here's a big thing that they're adding Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pass adds new content. I didn't really look in what the new content was. The main thing was is they're adding a backlog of the 
N64 games. It's only like 10 games, though. Mm. And GoldenEye and Pokemon Stadium aren't included. Yes. It's just random things, like there's a Zelda game. But, like... There's a bunch what, of random... What, what and, happened to... and Sega Genesis. Wasn't there What's that, that to do with Nintendo? I don't know. But, like, when are we going to eventually games. get the um, mini... When are we supposed to get the mini N64 at some point? Isn't that already happened? No. Maybe they're putting on Switch. Who knows? Yeah, but the cool thing is you get a you get a Bluetooth N sixty four controller mm. and a Sega Genesis. So you can actually play the old co- old controller and games. Which is mm-hmm. pretty cool. Put them under your, put under your Switch and use an N sixty four controller. <laughs> Those Just... things are awkward as fuck. Like yeah, holding it like that, like well, yeah, you meant to hold, like, yeah, you'd hold the middle with one hand and then do the thing with the other hand, or, like, there was designed for the certain games you played. So, like, Star Fox, you'd just hold it in the middle like a gun and you'd fly it. Or even Goldeneye, you would hold it in the middle and you'd look around and you'd shoot. Certain games like mm. that, you'd look around and shoot and you wouldn't need to use most of the other buttons, depending on how the bindings went. It was it was very interesting how they built it, because it was like a, it was like having an arcade gun where you could, like, gun shoot, because you would hold the middle and you'd just like... Yeah, because you had to move with something for Goldeneye. What was it? You had to move with the arrows, I think, like the... The D-pad, so and you hold, gun hold, like, shoot. So you'd hold the left thing, and you'd hold the middle, and you'd be like, tch, tch, tch. and sometimes yeah, you'd, it's weird. Or, or you'd hold the outside. Because you had to aim with control. the stick, but you move with the pad. Mm. Yeah, it's a very interesting controller. And then you like get to get, switch it to press the button, then you switch it back. Like it's like we've the, we've only got two hands, not three. Yeah, the controller was a weird setup. I mean, I like the thought where they'll try. I think they had GameCube but... next. Like, we well, GameCube already out on there. No. Wait, they did that with the Wii, I think. No, because people wanted the GameCube over N64. Okay. Because the GameCube had better games. There's a lot of that classics. That some bangers on there. But, I mean, what's the point of trying to bring the classic games back when you're going to be like, we've got Mario Kart 8, Deluxe, Ultra Deluxe, Mega Deluxe, and then you've got, like, Mario Party Superstars oh. featuring 100 of the previous mini games. Like, what's the point of playing the old school versions if you can play the modern versions, remade, like, remade versions of the old stuff? Like, why would you go back? Like, it's the thing. I guess for only a couple of bucks, you can play the old ones. Which they're showing demos of them, and... I can do the same thing on a fucking emulator on PC. Well, I know Rare was talking about they've got the original, like, the original, like, Banjo-Kazooie is coming, like, he's going to be going and popping up on the N64 store, I know that. Yeah, but you've already got a HD version on the fucking Xbox One. I know, it's like, why play the old version when you can play the old version, but HD? end with achievements yep so I don't know I haven't used my switch in months probably even like six or so months I actually picked up a game recently I've got that colours live on the switch has like the pen oh and you know damn pretty cool you can do like drawings and stuff I wanted to get that fucking labo but that's not around anymore the labos I've I've done I've done some drawings you can't see it <laughs> yes. so i drew i drew a fly uh, uh, uh it looks like a crash bandicoot mask and then i don't know why this looks like a crash Which bandicoot mask. still covered that looks like a crash bandicoot mask it looks like one of the new ones <laughs> look at the and fucking then... green one <laughs> made in black that's a freaking fish sticks from fortnite it looks like a looks like a south park character <laughs> I was trying it, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm like, oh, what are you putting J for Men in Black in South Park? But yeah, so that, yeah, the fly <laughs> with the little lips. But like, I feel turned off because I'm like, oh, I'll get this. I'll start trying to draw stuff. And I was like, why does it have lips though? Why does a fly have lips? I, was, have a, like, I just went with sucky it. thing. I know. I was just, it does. It's like a little perched <laughs> lips. They're like the sucky thing down. It's got like little lips. It's like, yeah, but. It looks like it's got like actually like a human but I, face. I'm, I'm very turned <laughs> off because I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then it's like, let's have a look what other people draw online. Let's have a look at other people draw on this thing. And I'm just like, oh, uh, oh. Like, I don't know how some of these people do some of the shit they, they do. Because I'm just like, that's... Oh, God. Bad. Or good. Um, I guess I've had someone, it Someone many... drew that on the app. Oh. Hang on. Hey. Someone drew that. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, like, it's really... There's some really good quality, like, art some people have done. I'm just like, how? Oh, like, what the fuck? 
I guess I've just had it for longer Someone drew and that. got used to it. What is that? Who, who is it? I don't that? know. It's just some random person, but they drew like a sketch <laughs> drawing of a person. It looks really good. They've got shading and everything. Like, Yeah, look. Oh, it's loads. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, and I'm just like... What, what are you fuck? doing, Des? It's meant to be a fucking anime. What are you doing, Des? <laughs> I'm like, how are people doing these? It's like, there's so much detail in some of these things. Like, look! Look at this! What? Rocky. Look how good that looks. If you can... It looks like a... Well, they're just imported. Like, it's all drawn, and you can see... Like, that's how good it looks. Look how it's been imported from on Google. You can see the yeah, time lapse. Yeah, What the fuck is that? How long did it take them to draw? Jesus Christ. It's just got lines going... Right, oh, you can see the lines of, like, the, they're detailing... The, that's the outline. They're detailing the outline on the body. It doesn't... Don't... Don't chum with the camera, because it doesn't pick it up, because it's, like... Because it auto-focuses off. Yeah. So it's not focusing on it. Yeah, some people have just got some detailed fucking drawings. Like, it's like, what the fuck? No, nah, fuck it. Oh, like yeah. A, this looks like a photo. Kung Fu. Doing their fucking yoga. But then you look at like the thing of someone drawing it. Oh god, it's fucking the light. The light's the worst part. Don't forget, don't forget. People can't see it listening. No, I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you these things, Jim. So I do apologize <laughs> yeah, for people like... trying to listen. They're not. Yeah, like look at look at this, Jim. This is ridiculous. It draws up pretty fucking quick. Well, it's sped up over time because there's a time oh. like, feature that shows you. <laughs> I'm gonna say, but, like, that's, that's real it's time. Really, it's really detailed. Like it's just showing like. It's just all faded out, sketched, and then they had all this detail. You'll like, get there one day of doing stuff like that, then. You said the fly of lips. <laughs> but this is the same store from the old version. They did this on the Wii, on the, on the DS. Oh, damn. Because it's like looking at the date. Like, that one was of, like, August 2012. The game's only been out, like... Oh, the game app program thing has only been out for a while. Yeah, these are all these old drawings from 2012. Spatterman. That looks good. Like, and that was on the old... And these are all done on the 3DS. I've still got my 3DS. Like, some of these drawings are really good. It's so brand, brand fucking new. This game only just came... Like, this version of the game only just came out, and it's very interesting to draw with. But some of the stuff I'm seeing, it's like, it looks like it's got the stuff from the old lobbies. The what old... is in my DS? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to figure out. What did I last play, do you reckon, Des? God. But yeah, some of these people's drawings are just insane. I'm just like, how? Are they like actually drawing these, or are they importing these what from other you, stuff? What do you reckon it is in there? Uh, Pokemon game. Dang it. <laughs> 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 Dang it, Pokemon Y. Because most people oh. play Pokemon. That's like the most played Nintendo game, pretty much. Like, yeah, because there's a variety of games in under the genre. Yeah, this is. I've had this has got this has got vomited on. Oh, I forgot about that. Actually, looking at some of these photos of like the new ones compared to the old stuff, it looks like the version of the of this program on the um DS was a lot better. <laughs> And I was I used to call it shit because I I played it and it was fucking garbage. And it looked used to look shit back then. Oh, there's no charge. No charge, yeah. Because in my DS as well, I've got Pokemon in it. I I pull on this is full of vomit at some point. You just vomited all over it. I was in hospital and I vomited all over the home. I don't know, but there was vomit. Oh God. I did clean it. I did, it was covered. And it still work. Damn. What's this yeah. episode? Nintendo makes a good fucking products. Pretty solid. Well, I mean, yeah, they can be pretty solid. I mean, when mine fell off, it broke my connect when it, my DS fell off the shelf. Yeah, I remember you said about that. <laughs> or, I can't remember which one was one of the way it fell on something that one of the things broke. It's so stupid. Yeah. Dirty yeah, well, those things are fucking compact, bro. Like, they... I out of a fucking tensory building and won't even do it, it just bounce. Mm. So, like a fucking Nokia. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, anyway, that's just a track. I, I think that's um, 
I think that's basically it. There's not much really else for this episode. There's nothing really to talk about. Oh, I'll just about. keep rambling. <laughs> but I don't know if there's anything to really ramble about. What can we talk about if we were to ramble? Nothing! It's a quiet week. It actually, I said this last week. I said, I reckon next week will be a very quiet week. We won't have much to talk about. And here we are. An hour and 20 exactly. minutes in. Just wait till next month when Far Cry is out. And all the games releasing. Oh, um... Death Stranding Director's Cut came out today. Yes. I didn't realise that was a whole improvement, like, mm. not just a frame rate and resolution boost, it's got new th story, it's got everything, got On the new PS5, features. Yeah. There's so much. Damn. There's so much they've done with that game. Crazy. DLC and everything. Although, doing your transferring your save from PS4 to PS5 is not great. Mm. Because you've got to go onto the PS4, you've got to get to a terminal... Well, luckily, get rid of all the missions. Luckily for me, it, I was going to say, I because I, I only played a bit of it, and I'm not yeah. too worried if I lose it. I'm tempted to just be like, well, it's okay. I only played like that. four hours, I think. That's all. I played a few hours, but really... I was still at the very start because I did a lot of wandering around. So I'm like, oh, I at least can mm. at least start from scratch, I feel. So well, it makes sense because you haven't played it for so long. You wouldn't even know the controls. Mm. To jump straight in. Uh... Play the definitive <laughs> edition with everything, so. No, 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 no. It's not like that. Like, apparently you've got to play the base game to a certain point yeah, yeah. before you, the new stuff starts coming at in. Least you can, at least you can, like, do the new stuff when you can. Like, you've got it all there. Yeah. Like, that's the better... That's what I mean. It's better off just having that so you can access it. But that Platinum, though, would have been nice just to transfer over pretty much instantly. <laughs> not that... That game would be hard to Platinum. Because mm. the BTs, son, they're fucking scary. <laughs> Eventually, once I get my hand on PS5, I'll, I'll look again some games and play them. That's why I haven't played a lot of my games. Because sure, you like, buy them early, then you're just kind of waiting. When you give it, you just hmm. bam. Well, it's like the games of God. Like, I'll wait till I get the. Uh, <laughs> I'll wait till I get the Xbox, Whack. and then I'll play like Valhalla and like Watch Dogs and all that on the on the Xbox once I get one. Those days. Yeah. Those days. I'm gonna. Just, I want to play Valhalla. I I want to play it so bad. I'm just gonna. I'm going to get a. I wait till I get Series X storage. And then I can just install them and play them. Mm -hmm. That's what my, my goal is, is just wait. Play the games I got that I can on this console when I can't, like, the base stuff, and then just, like, Crash Bandicoot and stuff, run through those, and then once I've got that, like, Series Don't X... Don't play any new games on there. No. Because, uh, like, Halo and that, Forza have to wait. 5, Horizon 5. Just wait, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Just wait. Oh. But anyway. It's going to be stuck soon, so... Hmm. I gotta build Just a shelf. Just in time for Christmas, conveniently. Yes. I gotta build. I'm gonna. I'm thinking of building a shelf behind me. Off my bed. I'm thinking of building a little shelf off the bed and run it to the head, and then back. Then I could put maybe my pop finals behind me. Off the bed, run it to the head. Yeah. <laughs> Make it way deep so then the pop vinyls can sit. I'm thinking of stacking the yeah. seat. Pop the uh, pop vinyls up on top of it. Have them, have them all behind you. It would only suck if someone was a, t a roller in the bed, like if I was, which I don't know if I'm going to end up using that much for sleeping. It's more for sitting on, for playing like the, for like people to sit on and play, like Jack to sit on and play the the Xbox and stuff like that and the Switch on the TV. I guess moved out a little bit. Hmm. So. So it's not touching. Well, I was thinking of building it off the bed itself, like build a frame, build it off so I don't have to get too much materials. Utilize it. Build it from the wall. Just like, just put it on the on the wall. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could put things on the wall. I don't want to put too many things in this place. I mean, I could patch yeah. it up. I could patch it up and paint over it. I guess I could. But only a couple of screw holes. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty in the ceiling. That's what I mean. Like, isn't there already been like holes in the roof? And <laughs> I mean, I'd have to find the sweet spot where I could put it to put a, a shelf in. Start knocking. Hmm. That's hollow. That's hollow. Dong, 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 dong. There it is. <laughs> so. Oh, we're rambling again. God dang it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, I was looking at the time. It's nearly an hour and a half. But that's all right. We can wrap it up here Oof. anyway. This little rambling doesn't hurt nobody. Yes. So I'll leave it. I think I think that's it. We've pl I've plugged, I plugged the socials, plugged the merch. I've plugged most things. We've talked about the episode. I did say, like I said, I did say it was going to be a short episode. And it is a short episode. Yeah. It's about average. Yeah. Well, old. It's your old average. Exactly. Yeah, we should aim for the time limit back then. <laughs> I know. I think we're going to try and bring it back in. We're going to bring it back down a little bit. Why are you sick of the three hours? 
I mean, it's not bad, but it's it's easy to do, eh? It's really easy. <laughs> it is. It's crazy. We can probably do four, five, six. But here we go again. Um, <laughs> but what the? He just vanished. Yeah, you get the sides sticking out. <laughs> but if that's all we got, does. Yeah, there's nothing else. I mean, if there's anything else, we'll tweet it. We'll insert it. As always, thank you, Beardies and Beardettes, for joining us on episode, what is it, 39? 39. 39? We line. have been Dale and Jim, and we'll catch you guys next week. Bye! Yahoo! Let's go! <laughs> I haven't heard that laugh in ages, so I can't even replicate it. One of those laughs. I can't even. It's like. <laughs> it's just like babies and buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. <laughs>